city right there, there man. Oh, bird That's band. right, the heartbeat of the city. I'm just, I'm, I was looking for my son in the Parkway highlights. He plays in the, he plays in the Parkway band, the Pride of Pantherland. That's why you text me when I was on the sideline. That That's night, right. Yeah, okay. I was watching Jacob, my, uh, my, my son. He's a sophomore at Parkway. And he, he plays the marimba. Uh, don't ask me. I have no <laughs> idea. It's a giant xylophone. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but he's pretty good. I, I mean, he's found his niche, and more power to him. But he can't ask his old man for any kind of advice on that because I ain't got any clue. <laughs> so. All right, guys, let's uh, to wrap up the show tonight. Let's talk about some of the games we saw tonight. We're going to start out with our game of the week, the Manny Tigers take on the Red River Bulldogs. Jory, you were down there. Take it away. Well, obviously, this was a game that has been talked about since August. <laughs> Coming up into this week, we've talked numerous times about Coach Bachman calling out the Tigers, saying this was going to be an upset, one of the biggest games that we see in Louisiana high school football. What was it he called them? He called them Tiggers. I, I laughed so hard. He called the Tigers Tiggers when I was talking to him. But anyway, so we were trying, you know, what, what could we expect from this game? I think we were expecting it to be maybe a little bit closer of a battle. But in that first half, the Manny Tigers were the football team we thought they were. The Tigers are who we thought they were. They're a strong running team. They had multiple options in the backfield. And all of those running backs tonight showed just how talented they are. That young man right there made a receiving touchdown as well. That was really nice. And it was fun to talk to Coach Jess Curtis after the game. He really had some kind of funny things to say. But he just said, you know what, like we played Manny Tiger football. We didn't play dirty. We're just a solid football team. And that couldn't be more accurate. I like what he said in the post-game interview when he said, you know, all that, all that stuff on social media, all that talk on the television, that was all talk. But sometimes you got to walk the walk. And he said the Manny Tigers walked the walk tonight. They ran the run tonight, <laughs> <laughs> as Jess they have Cur all season. <laughs> Jess Curtis is a fine football coach. And this Manny football team, you know, you kind of, if you've been following them for years, you kind of look and see where the Kinder Yellow Jackets are because it seems like Manny and Kinder are always on a collision course to meet either in either the, in the semis, the semis or, or in the, the dome. Game. Yeah. <laughs> and so and, and he's got a ball club that looks like they're destined for the Superdome again. Let's go into our next game now uh, over in East Texas. Jefferson taking on uh, Atlanta for, uh, for the top spot in the district. And, uh, Big win for Jefferson tonight, and they were really using D Black early in the game. Had two long touchdown runs in this contest. You know, early in the early goings, uh, Jefferson. We thought going into the season they could be you know, a team that could really challenge in 3A Division I, One. And, I thought and they'd be pretty good, good. And, and I thought Atlanta would be really good. You know, coming down, they had a lot of kids back, but but Jefferson really does look the part. We've got them in the top six on NBC Six. They've been there for the last three weeks, um, still unbeaten, and they're just rolling and rolling again tonight. And. Uh, I don't see anybody beating them till playoff time. Do they play fade to black by Metallica when he like scores? How they cool, totally should. How cool would that be? <laughs> they totally should. Tell you what though, Jefferson's also a team that's trying to prove a point this season. You know, they yeah. He to a coach told you that. Coach Jimerson told you that earlier this season, didn't he? Yes, he did. And I think then the kids they preach it every time you speak to them too, especially the seniors. They really want to go further in the playoffs this year and and end their season with a state championship. So I think that is playing a part in the mentality of this team and how dominant they've been this season. A big win for Jefferson now in flying to win the district championship over there. Let's go ahead get into our uh, next game here. Uh, Calvary, Mansfield, you know, big gun. You were down at this game, Tim. For I was down goings. there tonight, and, and, and you know, it ended up with what? What was it, 27 to 16? I was there for about eight minutes in real time, and it was 14 to 7. It was boom, boom, boom. Mansfield off the right side here with the big long run. Calvary answers with the big long pass. After that, it seemed like things kind of slowed down a little bit. And it, it was kind of funny. You're walking down the sideline, and uh, you, you hear things with the coaches and players saying stuff. And I'm just kind of walking down the sideline after the one touchdown, and kid says, Coach, hands team. Coach Ewan says, hands team all night. That's all we're doing. And then they onside kicked it. And it's like, yeah, Coach Goon, Goon knows a little bit about what he's talking about. Yeah, he's been watching a little <laughs> film uh, and worked out for him. They get that big win uh, over, tonight over Mansfield. Same sort of deal with Jefferson. They are now in line to win that district. They'll wrap up the regular season next week. It's hard to believe we're already at that point where we're talking about uh, the end of the season. But Calvary in line to win that district title should be a high seed in the playoffs once we get there in a couple of weeks. Uh, take a little break from.